hello everyone assalamu alaikum so let's continue with creating a multi-component design let's start with creating the box here and then adding the cover so let's get started go to Vuegen click on save the box then your name you write your name and your class here here you make sure where you save it put into consideration the location so here it's in my first project or if you create the project in the previous video fine if you couldn't do the project it's fine just do it in my first project okay and then click on save now you need to add the two components here just go to the main one the first one here right click and then click on new component in the old version you will not see this one only in the new version I can uh, see the window so in the old version automatically it will be like this okay so give it two double click here this is one and this is two so two double clicks and then change the name the main box and then enter now again you need to go to the first one because you want to create components belong to this one so click here make it active and then right click here new component and then of course again it will not you will not see this one if you have the old version automatically you will find it here so two double clicks one and then two right lid or the cover and then enter so now let's start with sketching the box here so we already created the components now we will add the sketch for the sketch we will go to create new sketch from here if you have the old version and if you have the new version you just go and click on this one sketch now I need to choose my plane here so when dealing with a multi components design you have to put the components into consideration and then you choose the plane so in this case here we are creating a box so this box should be created in the main box here so we need to make sure that this one is active how to make it active you just click on it or click on the circle here now only you can draw inside the main box but before you are drawing in general here inside the multi-design box but you need to actually create your sketch inside the main box component here okay so this one is active good let's click on create again and then you choose from the top view here then give it another click and go to create rectangular and then center rectangular go from the middle and then you just move like this so as you can see there are two inputs here and to toggle between them you need to press the tab key where is the tab key so this is the tab key okay and of course this is the enter key and if i click on escape so if you see escape that's mean i clicked on this one this escape key so now you need to write 100 here and then click on tab and another 100 then you need to click enter now we need to go to the home view after each step make sure that you are clicking in the home view to see an isometric view of the drawing from the top okay now click on finish sketching so the second step here is to select extrude and uh, make the distance here 50 millimeter let's make the depth here 50 millimeter so how to do so if you have the old version you just click on here and in our case if you have this version just go and go to create and then click on extrude so automatically it is already selected because it's blue if it's not selected you just need to click click like this if you see it's blue that means it's selected now you can see when it's selected there is an input here you can write any number so as per the book 
it should be 50 millimeters so just write five zero and then click on enter so to have the isometric view from the top what we have to press just go to the home view here what is the next step here so create another new component rename it to lead set this component as active so we already created the component from the last video but now we need to make it active how by clicking on the circle okay so I clicked on the circle now I need to extrude it 10 millimeter okay so here is extrude create extrude and I make sure this time I have to select which face exactly so now we want to create the lid the cover so it should be on the top so I will click on this face here and once I click you can see that I have new input here I will put as 10 millimeter and then I will click on enter again go to the home view to see the outcome okay so now we created the top cover now we need to create the shell for the main box so I need to work on the main box so what I have to do I need to active make it active okay and to have a better look so I click on here so it will be a clearer view just give it one click here so uh, to make it easy for me I will uh, also hide by clicking this hide the cover so it will be easier for me to work now I will go to modify and then shell and then I need to select which face I need to shell so it is the top face of course here and then I want the thickness the inside thickness to be only five millimeter and then click on enter now I need to create a new sketch on the side face of the box sketch two circle one circle should be nine and the other circle should be 15 so now this is the box make sure that you are working in the main box so this one is active here go to the right side go to sketch and then give this side one click now go to create circle center diameter circle go in this corner here give it one click and then move here you write nine millimeter and then enter and then create another circle the first option of course and then go to the center again and then give it one click and then move like this now give it one five and then click on enter if you want to have it uh, in a better view you just click and move or it's fine it will not affect your drawing anyway now just go to the home view like this and click on finish sketching so now we created this two lines why we are creating this two line because we want to create a, a place where we can put the pen here inside so we want to extrude this circle here so how to do so go to create extrude and then you this one will appear to you as you can see here now you can close this one to have a better look or you can use the pan here and then click on escape now you need to create or select what do you want it to be extruded so we want to select on this one you just select the whole circle if, if only part of it selected make sure that you select everything you can see here blue okay then go to extent and click on two objects now we need to select the object just go to the corner here because we want to select it till this object here give it one click here and make sure that the operation here is new body then click on enter of course after every step it's better to go to the home view to see the whole picture here so now you need to uh, remove everything here so how to do so so let's unhide the lead so we can see the lead and let's work on the main box here just click on the circle here so we can work on both the lead the cover and the main box here now go to create you need to select this one okay and then click on circle central diameter circle and then click 
a circle with the same size of the 9 millimeter right because you want to uh, cut extrude everything inside here and then click on finish sketch and then go from the home view here okay now we want this circle to be extruded as a cut extrude so how to do so let's go to create extrude now this time you need to press on this circle the small circle here you just can see it from the right here you need to extrude everything inside here so you just give it one click here and then see it from the home view now we want this to be also extruded cut extrude till the till the last object here right so i need to click on extend to object and then go from this corner give it one click and then click or choose the object which is this object here okay make sure the operation here is cut and then click on enter now as you can see here the hole created with only using cut extrude so we have it clean and neat